Hey guys, Mike Brandon Stein with the Worship Base Workshop doing another tutorial for Jelly Note today with a new look. Uh, no more basement background here. We got to try a new look here, see how it goes, all right? So last week we did Thriller. This week we are doing The Thrill is Gone, all right? So this is a B.B. King song, been around a long time. Great bass line, little blues today. So go get your bass, come on back and let's learn this. Okay, Thrill is Gone. Now, this is a, a, a classic blues tune. You want to kind of make sure that you have this blues feel when you're doing this song. Now, the first thing we're going to do, though, as always, is we're going to look at the notes. We're going to look at what notes we're going to be playing. And then we'll kind of get along into the feel and the, the, just the sequence of the notes and just a little bit of technique. We have B.B. King's Thrill is Gone. And it's going to start off with we're using the second fret on the third string. That's a B, okay? Yeah, appropriate, huh? Okay, so the first two notes, B, second fret of the third string. And then we are going to the open fourth string, and then we're playing the second fret of the uh, fourth string. Open third string, back to the second fret of the fourth string, and back to the second fret of the third string. So it'll sound like this. So, all right, now next we're going to move up to the, we're going to do the uh, next string, is going to be the second string, and we're just playing the same frets, really. We're just moving this pattern down one string, okay, so now we're on the second string, second fret. When you're transitioning back to the A string, and you are open A, so you're doing an open D or an open second string and an open third string, and back to the lick we did at the beginning. Second fret, third string. Now you can hammer this on, you can pluck the, the fourth string and hammer on. And a hammer on is just very simply, you are not plucking, but you are uh, hammering your left, your fretting finger onto the fret. And you're hammering it on hard enough to where the note will sound just from fretting the note. Yeah. So I'm plucking, hammering. All right, that's a typical hammer on. You usually, you could do them also. And I'll show you another one here pretty soon. So, all right. Then we go into the little uh, uh, turnaround here. We go to the fifth fret of the second string. And then we are using the fifth fret of the third string and the fourth fret of that third string. So we're going a little. And then the fourth fret of the, of the second string. All right, and then we do this hammer on, okay? on the uh, third string, second fret to the fourth fret. Now when we're doing that, we want to start off with our, fret it with your index finger or your first finger, and hammer on with your ring finger if you can. Sometimes you might have to use your pinky if you're not used to, to fretting down that far on the neck. And if you have a bigger bass also and smaller hands, it's going to hurt, okay? So you can use your pinky if you want. Uh, I'd encourage you to try to use your ring finger to hammer that on. So that turnaround again will go fifth fret, second string, and then we go, well, let's start on, the, on my uh, middle finger here. So fifth fret, second string, fourth to fifth hammer on, on the third string. Okay, and then we go five on the second string, five on the uh, third string. Okay, then we go down to the fourth fret of the second string, hammer on from the second to the fourth fret of the third string, and then fourth fret second string, fourth fret third string, and then we go back to the second fret of the third string. 
All right, that's pretty much it. When you get to the blues part, when you get to this kind of song here, this is more about feel, more about the vibe, and it's really playing the notes, but playing them with that feel, okay? So let's talk a little bit about the feel now. Okay, just a little note about the feel. Now, when you're doing a blues feel like this, uh, pay attention to the, to the length of the notes that you're playing, okay? So the sustain, are you sustaining the notes? Do you play them a little more staccato? Listen well to the song. Now, I'm gonna tell you a little bit how I would play this. I'm going to play, kind of tighten up these notes a little bit, especially the first two. All right, so let me give you a little example of playing it two different ways. So if I just let the notes ring, it's gonna sound kind of like this. Nothing really wrong with that, but it doesn't have the same kind of driving feel that you get when you kind of tighten up these notes in this way. Okay, so what I'm doing here is I'm just kind of playing the notes with my, my plucking finger is going, is, is kind of damping the note. So once I pluck it, I let I rest on the note on the string. So let me show you. So what I'm doing with my right hand here, make sure you can see my right hand. Yep. So my right fingers, okay, so if I'm playing with two fingers, I'm doing this. You know, so when I play, when I pluck and then rest, pluck and rest. Left hand, I can also do it by lifting on the string. I'll show you kind of like this. Okay, so you're playing the note and lifting. Because when you hold down the fret, when you hold your finger down on the fret, it's gonna ring. As soon as you lift it up a little bit, then it'll stop. So make sure you're not taking it off the string or else it'll play the open A, all right? So you wanna just kinda a little lift and where you're still touching the string and then you're resting your, your plucking finger there. Okay, so that's just a little tip on how to play these notes with a little more of a punch to them and to give it more of that staccato, kind of a little more of a driving feel, okay? Well, I hope you enjoyed learning this today, and most of all, I hope you get a chance to play this with a group someday soon. So until next time, this is Mike Brandon Stein with the Worship Bass Workshop, recording for Jelly Note, and while I'm thinking of the word Jelly Note, click on that link and get the Jelly Note app. And by all means, go premium. Go all the way, all right? So until next time, this is Mike Brandon Stein with the Worship Base Workshop, and I will see you again. <laughs>